Welcome back to Infigan friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging AMI 2014 problem. If M is the largest real solution to the equation 3 over x minus 3 plus 5 over x minus 5 plus 17 over x minus 17 plus 19 over x minus 19 equal to x square minus 11 x minus 4 where M equal to A plus square root B plus square root C. A, B, C are all positive integers. Then we have to evaluate the expression A plus B plus C. So we will begin with the given rational equation. We will solve this equation first. Then we will search which solution is coming out. The biggest one or the largest among all. So let's get started by doing one manipulation. I will add 4 to both sides. Plus 4 to this side and plus 4 to LHS. So I will split this LHS plus 4 in 4 ones in this manner. 3 over x minus 3 plus 1 plus 5 over x minus 5 plus 1 plus 17 over x minus 17 plus 1 and last term from RHS we will write 19 over x minus 19 plus 1 and RHS it would be x square minus 11x. Now I will take LCM for these four LHS terms. So in numerator we will be having only x. 3 plus x minus 3. So 3 and minus 3 will be over x over x minus 3 plus x over x minus 5 plus x over x minus 17 plus x over x minus 19. From L RHS I will take x common x minus 11 would be in the bracket. Now if I will take all the term to one side and then I will take x common. So conclusion is I will cancel this x from both the side by writing only x equal to 0. This is one solution to the equation. So what is left? It is 1 over x minus 3 plus 1 over x minus 5 plus 1 over x minus 17 plus 1 over x minus 19 equal to x minus 11. Now it's substitution time. If you will see only 3 and 19 then it is 22 the middle point is 11. So I will consider x minus 11 which is in the RHS, this equal to t. So I will write here 1 over x minus 3 plus 1 over x minus 5 plus 1 over x minus 17 plus 1 over x minus 19 equal to x minus 11. Now let's use substitution. I will consider let x minus 11 equal to t. So x minus 3 will be this value will be t plus 8. x minus 5 will be t plus 6. x minus 17 will be t minus 6 and x minus 19 will be t minus 8. Let us put this value and RHS is t as per our substitution. So I will be writing here 1 over t plus 8 plus 1 over t plus 6 plus 1 over t minus 6 plus 1 over t minus 8 equal to t. Now I will consider first and last term altogether and second and second last term altogether so that we can apply the difference of two squares formula t plus 8 plus 1 over t minus 8 plus 1 over t plus 6 plus 1 over t minus 6 equal to t. Let's take LCM. So once I will take LCM, it will be t minus 8 plus t plus 8. So shall we write here directly 2t over t plus 8 t minus 8. So difference of two squares, 
टी स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्सटी फोर एंड हेयर इफ यू विल टेक एलसीएम ओनली इट वुड बी टू टी ओवर टी स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्स स्क्वायर विच इज थर्टी सिक्स इक्वल टू टी अगेन आई विल डू द सेम जॉब आई कैन कैंसिल टी फ्रॉम बोथ साइड बाई राइटिंग टी इक्वल टू जीरो इज अवर सोल्यूशन सो आई विल बी राइटिंग हेयर टी इक्वल टू जीरो That means x is equal to 11 is our solution. Now what is left? 2 over t square minus 64 plus 2 over t square minus 36 equal to 1. Let me write here. 2 over t square minus 64 plus 2 over t square minus 36 equal to 1. So far solution. we have calculated that is x is equal to 0 and t equal to 0 that means x is equal to 11 two solutions are clear now we are calculating t so here we will be having four solution so let us consider lcm so i will write here 2t square minus 72 so let me write in this manner or we can take two common also so let me write 2 t square minus 36 plus t square minus 64 over t square minus 64 t square minus 36 equal to 1 so it is ultimately 2 times 2 t square so let me write here 2 t square minus 100 over t square minus 64 times t square minus 36 equal to 1 cross multiply then we'll be writing 4t square minus 200 equal to these two brackets t square minus 64 times t square minus 36 now i will expand and i will convert this into quadratic quartic equation not quadratic so let me take multiplication i will be writing here 4t square minus 200 equal to it would be t power 4 t square times t square minus 36 minus 64 so minus 100t square and 64 times 36 so that value will be 2504 with plus sign Take all the term to one side. Frame one perfect quartic equation. So it would be t power four minus one zero four t square. And once I will add, it is two three zero. It is two three zero four. After adding two hundred, I will be having two five zero four equal to zero. This is our quartic equation. now equation is simple i can say it is quadratic also in t square so let me write t square and let's apply the quadratic formula so i will be writing here t power 4 minus 104 t square plus 2504 equal to 0 let me write in lhs t square and then i will apply quadratic formula so minus b 104 plus minus Under the root b square, so one zero four whole square minus four times two five zero four, and in denominator I will be writing two. Now let's put the values one zero four plus minus under the root one zero four whole square. So this value is ten thousand eight hundred sixteen minus four times. 2504 this value is 10016 divided by 2 then i will be writing 104 plus minus this is square root 800 divided by 2 now i can write 800 as 400 times 2 so 400 square root of 400 is 20 so let me write 20 root 2 divided by 2 let's divide so 52 plus minus 
10 root 2. Here we are having t square value. Now I will take a square root for getting means the value of t. So let me write here t will be equal to plus minus square root 52 plus minus 10 root 2. And what is t? t is our substitution. It was x minus 11. This was our substitution. So let me put here equal to plus minus square root 52 plus minus 10 root 2. So from here we will be writing x is equal to 11 plus minus square root 5 2 plus minus 10 root 2. Now four values are there, four solutions. Now we have to pick that m which is the largest one. So largest value will come with both plus sign. So I can write here m equal to. So I will be writing m is the largest of x. So that value would be plus minus. So I will remove this minus. No need to write minus now because we are writing m. So square root 52. Again we have to consider plus sign for largest value of x. That is m. Now you can see compare with this m. So if I will compare a plus square root b plus square root c then that value is a plus b plus c we can calculate easily. So I will take this 10 into the square root. So I can write our x or m value which is actually x plus square root 52 plus square root 200. So this value is A, this is B and this is C. Now what is asked? A plus B plus C. So let's write over here A plus B plus C value will become 11 plus 52 plus 200. So final answer becomes 263. And this brings the end of this video. I hope you like this video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.